big Sammy Wallace, 6'9 and uh, 320 pounds with 1% body fat, I believe. I gotta tell you, he is really impressing me lately. Your offensive line did a, uh, an amazing job last night. They opened up some really good holes, protected when we threw well. We're gelling again. I mean, New Year, people do different things on defense, so, and we've been working a ton on different blitzes and movement defenses, and because we know we're going to get them. We, we drill it every day. I could see them coming together now. I feel like they're getting better and better. You know, I wanted to do some things a little bit differently in our zone scheme, and it's all technique stuff, and uh, they did a good job with it. They really did. That's right. He can be taught. What would you wish of me? The ever impressive. Let's start off with the center, Big Sammy Wallace. What's Sammy up to these days? Sammy's up to about 6'4", 255. He's uh, he, not sure if he's quite big enough for uh, Division One yet, but he wants to play football his whole life. He's very excited about moving on to the next level after we win the state championship, especially after some of the Lansing Sexton guys, who we beat in the playoffs, got signed to Michigan State. I like Sammy's chances to play on Saturdays next year. Big leader on that offense at center. Everything revolves around Big Sammy. Oh, he wanted to play without a shoe, but they won't let him. It was Colin DeYoung. DeYoung, yep. DeYoung was trying to get that shoe tied, and Sam Wallace came over and go, here, let me do it for you. <laughs> That's a teammate for you. <laughs> trying to shove your foot in the shoe. Come on, we got a game to play. Hand off Smith this time. He'll bring up the middle. Now go away. Smith is in the Portis Northern territory. And out of bounds at the Portis Northern 20 yard line. On a 69 yard pickup for Drake Smith. St. Joe's offensive line, they got some big boys up there. They give plenty of space for Drake Smith to uh, cut it upfield. Did some different things blitzing, and then I thought our kids did a great job picking up on it. Sam Wallace and Maddox to Andrew. Those three kids in the middle picked up on the tight blitz, and they didn't get in again on that blitz, so I was very pleased with that. They were sharp mentally. They knew what they were doing, and we made the adjustments and it worked. And the handoff, Jamal Jackson tries the right side, now cuts it oh upfield. Jackson my. inside of 30. Oh. He's got the first oh down. My. Still on his feet down the far sideline, and he's in the end zone for the St. Joe touchdown. That's number seven on ESPN top ten list tonight. Can you do this for me every single game? Can you do this? Coach, yes, yes, I'll do it for you. All right, where'd it go? It's all about pushing people around. Okay, we got a pass. All right, it's got to be in the end zone. Back uh -oh. to pass. Looking for Jewel left side. Got him at the five. End zone. Touchdown. A 26-yard touchdown strike from Sean Ganane to Matt Jewel, and the Bears are on the board. I want to know who you had lining up against Big O78 when he was out there Whoa. for Battle Creek. Coach, I talking to Coach, how much do we weigh? And they go, our scale stops at 350. And one of the coaches says, but I think he's like 440 or something <laughs> like that. Whoa. If he ever lands on you, see, you're out. You're out for the night. <laughs> yeah. So I told our guys, no cut blocking. Don't cut this guy. Because if he falls on you, we may not have you for the next two games. <laughs> Hand off Drake Smith. Left He's side gone. The secondary. And five. Wow. Touchdown. Drake Smith, a 75-yard touchdown run. See what Sam Wallace did? He picks up the, uh, the football, just hands it to the referee. Yeah, kind of shined it off a little bit. Exactly. The dirt off and goes back and spits it out. Don't bother, better not. I'll get it for you. I hear that the offensive line's favorite food to eat is a pancake. Why do you think that's the case, Johnny? That's because they like to practice pancaking the defensive backs and the defensive linemen for the other team, and they're really good at it. Now, of course, they all do like the pancakes, John, but there's two players that prefer chocolate chip pancakes, and that's Big Sammy Wallace, and that's also Big Matt Maddox. And the reason they like chocolate chip pancakes is when they pancake their guy and then land on him, there's a little squish sound there, and it's a little chocolate chip action there. And, of course, that's 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 only Sammy and Matt because, you know, they're big, huge monsters. But uh, they're chocolate chip pancake fans. Some of those big horses up front. Sam Wallace, 6'1", 252. That St. Joe line has really done an awful nice job this year. Uh, those big horses up front. St. Joe's offensive line doing it again here tonight. You know, the nice thing is about that rushing record. That's a team record. Yeah. You know, when you break a, a record that's 21 years old, that's not just one running back. It's been three with Bachman and now Jack and a solid offensive line. Looks like Kilbrew now back in that backfield for the Bears. All right, enough messing around, huh? Let's play this game. Let's play some football.